I call this meat and potatoes passing. A lot of people call this the Nick Lucena drill because Lucena is the one who introduced us to a lot of it. So you're gonna have one guy here about mid length through the court and you have another server going full length. So, and then you have one passer. In this case, that's Evan passing and we have this target. Anytime you're doing a passing drill, it's always best to have a target to shoot for. Or you're just sort of mindlessly passing. So what this guy's gonna do, he's gonna hit a down ball, relatively controlled, and then your passer's gonna pass it right on that bag, and then right after, Andy's gonna be serving a full length float serve, and then Evan's passing, and then so each of us are gonna serve five balls at Evan, and then we're gonna switch to the angle. So the passer's gonna get 20 balls, then we're gonna switch. This is good for me, because I'm getting my shoulder and hand contact warm. It's good for Evan, because he's passing. It's good for Andrew, because he's getting his float serves going. And it's always best to have a target. So this is a great three-person drill. If you have four, sometimes you can just have a person standing there in a target, or you can just have the person set into a target and integrate it that way. So we'll get going with 10 from the line, and we'll move on to 10 from the angle. All right, so we got our meat and potatoes. They each passed 40 balls, so everyone should be pretty warm. Now we're getting into more full court, game-like serves. I'll be hitting floats, but now we're adding a set and or an option. So when I'm serving Evan, Andy has the option to either set him, Evan can just stand and chop it back, catch it, whatever he wants to do, or he can option. So our pass is always with the intent to give our partner the option. That's just the way the game's going internationally, and that's what we're working on here. All right, this is our last progression. Now we're getting into a game. Server versus passers. So Evan and Andy can only earn a point if they pass an optionable ball. So if Andy or Evan can option, jump set, or set whatever in system, they get one point. I get a point if it's an out of system pass. I get three points if it is a shank ace, and I get five if it's a naked ace, it means they don't touch it. So I'm going for five. We played a 15 and then we switch sides, and that's how we're gonna end practice today. Deeper. <laughs> Don't lose it. 15-11. Down 3-14. I'll take the comeback. Now we switch to the good side there, Frito. Oh! <laughs> Game! 3-3. Uh, three, three. I knew you were going back to the well. <laughs> nice job. Nice job. You guys good? Yeah. Yeah, perfect. So that's our passing progression. We start off with what I like to call block, where it's relatively controlled, still everything's over the net, pretty live get 20, 40 passes that way, and then we get into more live, but not competitive. So you're still passing, you're setting, you're working on things in a non-competitive environment. And then the last progression, now we're competing, now we're extra live, you get a little bit of everything. I think they probably passed 100, 120 balls each, and we just worked out for 45 minutes. So that's the easiest thing you can do. Just three people, you can do it with four. I love practicing with three. So you got there. Get your passing better. Let us know what you think. Let us know if you try it. We'd love to hear from you guys. And we'll catch you next time on Practicing with the Pros. Shoots.